if in the following right angle triangle we consider the angle theta, that is the angle between the segments A, B and segment A, C, then we can define the three main trigonometric ratios, sine, cosine and tangent. Sine of theta is the length of the opposite side over the length of the hypotenuse. In this case, the opposite side is side A. And the hypotenuse, remember, is the side that is in front of the right angle, therefore in this case is C. So sine of theta in this case is A over C. Cosine of theta, that is written cos of theta, is the length of the adjacent side over the length of the hypotenuse. So in this case, the adjacent side is B. Therefore, cos of theta is just B over C. And finally, tangent is defined as the length of the opposite side over the length of the adjacent side. So in this case, we have opposite side is A, adjacent side is B. You do realize this is exactly the same as sine of theta over cos of theta. What about if you now consider the other angle, which would be this angle here that we can call alpha? Then we can also describe sine of alpha, cos of alpha and tan of alpha. Definitions are in general, but you have to keep in mind that now the opposite and the adjacent side have changed. So we have sine of alpha, remember, is opposite over hypotenuse. Therefore, in this case, the opposite side would be B, while the hypotenuse is still C, because the hypotenuse is the one in front of the right angle. Cos of alpha will be adjacent over hypotenuse. So we have that the adjacent side in this case is A, therefore cos of alpha will be A over C. And then tan of alpha would be opposite over adjacent, therefore B over A.